Hello everybody, Kella here, and today we're going to be looking at something a bit different. Um, I just bought this on eBay uh, just to see how uh, rubbish it is, uh, just for a laugh. And uh, it was £2 for this set. You get a shower gel with it and the aftershave. So let's see what £2 can get you on eBay. Here's the box here, it's called Trendy. Uh, eau de toilette for man. Uh, so this is by the brand Street Lux. On the back you can just see the writing there, just details, uh, nothing special. And it does have a batch code on the bottom. So, uh, yeah, if you're having problems with this fragrance, just uh, try and get another batch of it or something, you know. So, let's open the box, is it? Ooh, nice cheap uh, cardboard. And uh, this is the set, luxury collection set. Look at this. It's amazing, there. <laughs> For £2, really. Uh, so, let's uh, look at the shower gel first, to me. Um, I'm not really interested in the shower gel, like, but um, what does it smell like? Oh, bloody hell, got it on my hands. <laughs> yeah, just... Smells of nothing at all. Absolutely nothing this shower gel smells like. So that's the shower gel. Um, let's have a look at the fragrance inside. Okay, so it's quite a nice heavy bottle. I don't know why I said nice for. It's quite a cheap looking bottle. But come on, for £2 now, I mean, you get a bottle, okay? That's a bonus for me. You get the bottle with it, like. So, um, really cheap cap here, as you can expect. Just really cheap plastic cap. Um... Oh, I can actually smell it already. Oh, okay. Guess what I'm smelling from this? Cinnamon. Just pure up, straight up cinnamon. This is obviously going to be a clone of uh, Spice Bomb 1 million in there. How's the spray? Let's have a look. Bloody hell. That's quite a nice sprayer, actually. Um, this sprayer, for £2, I mean, is really nice sprayer. It's, um, you know, some of the Amar fragrances I've bought, which are like, you know, 20 quid or something. Some of them have worse sprayers than this. No joke. And on the bottom there, you have the details, such as the batch number, which you're not going to care about or nothing. <laughs> so let's spray this on and see how good it smells. Oh, bloody hell. Alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. That's all I get. Blast of alcohol. Wow. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, no. I'm getting some sweetness. Right, let's smell my hand. Is it? Oh, wow. Okay. So this reminds me... Uh, well, this is a clear clone of one million, okay? Paco Rabanne's one million. Dun -dun, bloody hell, another clone of one million. Like, uh, like we need more of them. Yeah, I, I really do get that um, cinnamon for a start. Blast of cinnamon, okay? After that, alcohol has died down a bit. But you do get that, like, nice uh, grapefruit sort of mintiness at top, which really does uh, sort of smell uh, like one million. It smells so synthetic. I mean, if you thought one million smelt uh, synthetic now, this is like times a billion. This is bloody synthetic as hell, okay? Okay, so it's drying down a bit now. <laughs> so, you know, if you can call this a dry down. But you get that fruitiness has slightly gone into the background. That fruity, like, uh, it's gra definitely grapefruit and mint. And I think there's um, a bit of orange mandarin in there. But yeah, definitely that mint and a tiny bit of patchouli and sandalwood in the background. But um, I thought it'd be fun to see how cheap we can go. To how uh, cheap uh, fragrances can get and the quality of them. But I've seen fragrances for like 99 pence in uh, pound stores and stuff like that. So I might buy them for just for fun, just to review them. Just to, uh, I'm not recommending them at all. It's just, just um, for entertainment purposes only, if you will. Uh, so yeah. It's not that strong. Oh, it is absolutely disgusting. Oh. I mean, the smell I'm getting now, it is like, it's like you've sprayed one million on, okay? And you've left it for about 10 minutes on your hand. And then, you've sprayed like the most generic cheap fragrances you could find at to like over the top of that. The top is not that bad, okay? Uh, for, you know, how cheap this fragrance is. I mean, the top of it, you do get that mint. Uh, you do the, you definitely get that cinnamon, and you definitely get that grapefruit, okay? So there is a fruitiness that really closely matches the opening of uh, One Million. So that's been the quality of this. I'll probably, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this bottle. Um, I'll probably keep it just for a laugh. Oops, shit. Uh, that's, that's the quality we're on about here. Like, I mean, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> I'll probably keep it for a laugh. I doubt I'm going to get around to using this. Honestly, like the shower gel, I, I, you know, I'd never use this. Um, yeah, I just don't feel like putting such a cheap uh, shower gel on me. And especially not going to wear that. I'll probably review a lot more cheapies like this soon, just because um, I enjoy just seeing how, uh, how cheap they smell and how, uh, what they're trying to copy, basically. Like, if one million was made by Fisher-Price, imagine that. <laughs> yeah, that's my verdict, basically. So yeah, that's been my review for Trendy Street Looks. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. I recommend this to everybody. 
Just kidding. <laughs> um, probably the worst fragrance I've ever smelt, for good reason and all, for probably because of the price. So if you liked the video, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and stuff like that. It really does make me want to make more reviews when I see comments and likes and stuff like that, so thank you all for that. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.